eight countries now generate around 99% of their electricity purely from renewable energy. That list is certain to grow over the next 24 months. Renewable energy has taken off in a big way over the past year in Europe, in particular in Germany and Spain. And we've talked about Germany and Spain on the channel quite a few times. Germany now has well over 50% renewable energy. In fact, on some days during the summer, they produced over 100% of their needs. And Germany says that um, within about five years, almost all energy in the country will be produced by solar, wind and batteries. But there's actually two countries in Europe that are powered 100% by renewable energy as wind capacity has begun to soar. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Last year was the best year on record for wind energy installations. The world installed 116 gigawatts of new wind power capacity in 2023, which is, of course, a lot less than solar, but it's still a big number. That's according to the latest Global Wind Report from Industry Trade Association, the Global Wind Energy Council. And that is a 50% increase from 2022, making it the best year on record for new wind projects. China led, of course, as you might expect, for both offshore and onshore wind installation, followed by the US, Brazil, and Germany. Thanks to strong growth in the Netherlands, Europe also had a record year in 2023 with a pretty surprising 3.8 gigawatts of new offshore wind capacity. And the biggest wind farm is uh, called Dogger Bank. It's located in Europe, it's off the UK mainland. It's an offshore wind farm. And that's kind of led the way for wind power capacity in Europe. The report says that while wind power growth is highly concentrated in a few countries, a few big ones, some other regions and nations had record growth. Africa and the Middle East installed nearly one gigawatt of wind power capacity in 2023, which is triple, 300% uh, more than the previous year. Its authors say the world is moving in the right direction in combating climate change, but the authors say, Annual growth must be at least 320 gigawatts by 2030 to meet the COP28 pledge of tripling renewable energy by the end of the decade. Now, I don't actually agree with that because I think solar is actually becoming more efficient and cheaper than wind power for most countries because 90% of the world lives on the sun belt. And seeing the enormous reduction in the cost of solar, the cost of solar has dropped a lot more than the cost of wind. But do we need to see a huge increase in renewable energy output to hit these goals? We do. Great to see wind industry growth picking up, and we are proud of reaching a new annual record, said GWEC CEO Ben Blackwell. However, much more needs to be done to unlock growth, which countries are powered entirely by renewables. Seven countries now generate all of their energy from renewable sources, according to figures from the International Energy Agency and the IRE, or the International Renewable Energy Agency. More than 99.7% of electricity in Albania Bhutan, Ethiopia, Iceland, Nepal, Paraguay, and the Democratic Republic of Congo comes from geothermal, hydropower, solar, and wind power. But Norway is very close as well. Uh, Norway have hit 98.4% of its energy from wind, water, or solar, according to the data compiled by Stanford University Professor Mark Jacobson. You can really see why it makes so much sense to buy an electric car in Norway. Another 40 countries got at least half of their electricity from renewables in 2021 and 2022, including 11 in Europe. Others like Germany or Portugal are capable of running on 100% renewables, uh, which is wind, solar, and battery power for short amounts of time, sometimes for a day or two days or three days. Now, that number of that amount of time that they can run on purely 100% renewables in Germany and Portugal is beginning to grow as well. Solar is going to overtake other renewables. Though many of these countries currently use a large amount of hydropower or wind energy, experts say that solar will take over as a major source of power in the near future. The technology has improved, the efficiency has grown up, and costs have gone down rapidly. Solar dominated the expansion of renewable energy capacity in 2023, accounting for 73% of all growth, followed by wind power at 24%, it now makes up 37% of the world's total renewable energy capacity. 
A 2023 study from the University of Exeter and University College London predicts that solar will reach an irreversible tipping point, becoming the world's primary source of energy before 2050. Now, I think that's going to happen probably around about 2035 to 2040, somewhere between then. However, this is the amazing news. We now have so many countries powered almost purely on renewable energy. If we include Norway, which is at 98.4%, it now means we have eight countries worldwide running basically just on renewable energy. But we have other countries um, that are running on renewable energy for days or weeks or, you know, very long periods of time, which I haven't mentioned here. And it's worth pointing out, California just had 30 of 38 days where it ran on 100% renewables, which is truly a staggering result. And to sum up, the countries that are running on renewables, pretty much entirely, Albania, Bhutan, Ethiopia, Iceland, Nepal, Paraguay, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, plus, of course, Norway. Thanks for watching.